Tonight, luminaries from the world of photography will gather in Chelsea to celebrate the 70th anniversary of a nonprofit organization called Aperture. Recognition from this group offers crucial validation and support to talented young photographers like the one entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon found in Brooklyn. In the shadow of the Manhattan Bridge at an upscale gallery called Higher Pictures, the future of photography is coming into focus, thanks in part to Tommy uh, Ka. It means a lot uh, to be recognized and to confirm that whatever I'm doing has been um, seen in some way. Ka grew up in Memphis, the son of immigrants from Vietnam. We had a very difficult uh, time growing up. Ka channeled what he was feeling into his work, much of it featuring his mother, and that work attracted the attention of Aperture. Aperture has been connecting people through photography for 70 years. A big part of that mission includes encouraging diversity. Finding voices that need to be amplified and making sure that they have a, a platform and a place to express themselves. A presentation for Aperture's 70th anniversary gala shows how a not-for-profit organization was founded to put out a magazine and grew to mount exhibits and publish books. Today, these outlets are used to encourage the next generation of artists. The idea of the Next Step Award is to give artists at emerging stages of their career the opportunity to work with us. Executive Director Sarah Meister explains this year's winner gets his own book and an exhibit at Baxter Street Camera Club to help propel Tommy Ka forward. One of the most important things that we can do is to support and elevate voices of artists who might not otherwise be heard. Thus ensuring Aperture can last another 70 years.